Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Joel Madden and this is Artist Friendly. Hope you're having happy holidays and you're getting ready for a very special New Year's. Today is a very special episode of Artist Friendly because we're celebrating our 50th episode and I couldn't think of a better guest to have on than one of the greatest rappers of all time and one of my favorite rappers of all time, my friend Lil Wayne. Let's go. Bad times, I don't wanna have bad. Thanks for coming, dude. Yeah, I'm stoked. I think a lot of times as artists, we, we go through our own process and we just make art. I don't think we think too much about our, our process. We usually just follow our instincts and we make shit we, we like. Yeah. But to have success at the level you've had success, there's got to be a process there that is, there's a, winning, there's a winning formula, there's a process. You know what I mean? And not that you're thinking formulas, but uh, replicating success is very hard for people to do. Yeah. My answer, I mean, as far as the process for me, if there's a, if there's a question, if the question is what's the the, the simple answer for me is consistency. And it's not about, it's not about, when I say that, I don't mean being consistently con successful or making us, in our, our profession, making a hit, yeah. making a good, doing, I don't mean being successful with that, I mean being consistent with that. I mean, whatever your process is, being consistent to your process. Mm. And what I mean by that, I, I literally do this every day. Yeah. Yeah, like every day. And so the answer to how or why you do it every day, I think is be, I mean, the simple cliche answer is because I love it, but nah, the true answer is, is a, it lies within, within inside of me. Mm. And I think that's my, I think that's the answer to it all. The true answer is me trying to find whatever that is inside of me every day. Mm. And I've been doing this for a long, long time. And I just still find whatever I find and I put it out there. Yeah. And I don't aim for success. I don't aim for it to be a hit. I don't aim for it to be this. I just be the best at it at that time. Mm. Whatever the song was, whatever the situation is, be the best me I can be. Mm. And hopefully it works. And because the only reason why I say hopefully is because if you ask me to do it again, that's exactly all I can do. Yeah. It's the same thing I just did, the best me I can be. And so the process, consistency, um, reason why, you, I'll never know the reason. I am the reason why. Yeah. You figure the reason out, you know? It's funny, me and Benj were talking about you. Um, one of the words we said, coming from being a fan, right? And listening to your music, but then being around you enough times to get a sense of you, right? A yeah. real sense of you. Yeah. The one word we actually said, top of mind, both of us said it was consistent. I appreciate it. I'm glad it did. Because we, you know, you, you, you've been in this world that we're, we're all in this entertainment sphere. It's a big, it's a big world. Yeah. You meet all kinds of people of and I give everybody space to be them who they are. So I don't mm -hmm. really judge how someone rolls. Everyone has to roll the way they need to, exactly. to feel safe in a sometimes hostile environment because yeah. entertainment is weirdly, can be weirdly hostile of in some course. ways. Yeah. Um, so you find that entertainers all have to set their lives up sometimes when they're dealing with all these different stressors they have to manage. And so you, you see all different types of approaches to that. Of course. And then you meet people who you, you could go, oh, the way he does it, you take notes mm -hmm. on how you maybe want to change things that you mm -hmm. do. Exactly. And um, one of, we, we were talking about you today and the word that both top of mind, consistent. I appreciate it. It's very consistent. Yeah. It's, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, I try to make sense of it for the listener, for the observer. I try, and I mean, when you said, you said replicate, you said replicate what you do. That's, again, that's just being consistent. I mean, being consistent, believing in it. You said, I mean, putting something down that you like, hopefully, from, in my case, as always, I'm a perfectionist, so I gotta love it. And still, when I, once I give it back, once I give it to, or once I put it, I'm still gonna hear something I should have said, I should have done yeah, this. Yeah, 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 you're, you're picking it apart after, yeah, always. That's that, but yeah. stay consistent. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean. And again, doing something over and over and over, it it can tire anybody. It's gonna tire anybody out. You can get tired of it, you can get sick of it, or you wanna do this at a certain time, or you wanna go off, branch off and do it. Oh, if you are, thank God, if you are successful, 
You want to bask in that. You want you want to live some of that success out. You want to see what that. You want to live that out. And that's when I found out the difference in myself. Right. And it wasn't about other artists. It wasn't about people that was in my, around me. It's about my friends. Yeah. It was about my friends. It was about noticing how they want to do. Then you know they would be begging me. You know, man, let's go here. Let's go there, man. Man, you, you we need to go here, man. We need to. Like, you want to go there? I don't. Right. I want to stay right. I, I'm like the. I'm I'm loving the success a different way. My my love for the success was is more like an athlete. Oh, the first shot just went in. Well, shit, I want to shoot it again. I'm about to shoot it again. I don't want to go to the. I don't want to go to the club. I want. I want to make this next shot go in without looking. I want to make this next one go in like this. I want. I ain't yeah. really trying to, and that was that's how I saw it. I mean, that's what that's when I noticed it. Now, what I mean by that is, I probably had to be at least fourteen when I noticed that. And the reason why would be because my friends were the same age, and they would be like, you know, you you are who you are, man. We could go to these clubs. It ain't about us being this age, man. We could go here, we can go there. Right. We have access. Yeah, because of you. Right. You know what I mean, so, I want to go straight back up to my homie basement and do another song. It reminds me of an athlete. It reminds me of like Kobe. It reminds me of great athletes, great perfectionists, people who want to, it's like self mastery. Yeah. It's in competition with yourself. With yourself, yeah. You know, listen, I think the reality of life is we only get to be ourselves. We were born who we are mm -hmm. and we only get to be the best version of ourselves we can ourselves. be. Exactly. What I find a lot of times people get lost in the sauce when they're trying they're chasing other people's yeah. dreams. Right. And then you meet someone who's very comfortable in themselves. In themselves. Mm -hmm. And they, they can say no with ease. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like a slap in the face. It feels like a very thoughtful no. Yeah. That's just not me. Yeah. And also you can walk away from it and it makes yourself wonder, you know, like you say, you pick up things from people. Sometimes you see something you might not want to pick, but it also helps you in whatever decisions you make. Uh, and like you said, you can meet some, you know what I mean? You can meet someone that, you can meet something that you can be so old, so, so up about. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, you get stressing out about it or whatever. And you see somebody else may not even notice it. Or it may not, and you may not be, but it make you sit back and figure out, or ask yourself why. You know, why, either why am I so up and about it and or not, or why is that person not, or it just make us, sometimes you can see why. Why, like sometimes you see that. Very comfortable in themselves, and none of this shit that mattered to me matters to him. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. And so it's interesting. I like to be to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I meet people I respect immediately because I can tell they're just being themselves and yeah. they are just doing their thing. Yeah, I think that's when I met you because uh, I had listened to your music for so long. Immediately I knew I was like, this guy's different. I appreciate it. You know, and and I think we see those people along the yeah. way. And a lot of times the great people tend to be that way. Of course. Every now and then you'll kind of see something that's been constructed. And, it, and you know that it's a, a little bit of a house of cards. Yeah. Yeah. And then you meet someone that's great and you're like, yeah, you're different. Yeah. Definitely. So what, what age did you finish kind of like the school journey? Uh, 15, 15 ish. I was, I had just put out a, like around 14, I just put out the block that's had my first solo album. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. in a classic. I, I was in, thank you, I was in 10th grade. And that's when my mom was like, you know, that's enough for school. It's time to get your tutor or something. Like, right. Just go get your diploma or something like that. She figured out that I was only going to school because I knew I was I was only going to school because I was on TV every day. I just wanted to. Right. Know, yeah, so I really wasn't. And also she, she knew my school was, the school work was, I never studied. You know, she's like, you don't even, I, I never see. She's like, you're too busy to study. You're always rapping and you're bringing in straight A's. Right. So the education, either the education system ain't working, yeah. or either you don't need, you're a little too smart for that. So we moved on. I went to college. And you went to college? Yeah. Oh, wow. University of Houston. Oh, wow. Yeah. And of course, I got way too busy for that, too. Yeah. 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 Well, school was pretty easy for you. No, nah, I wouldn't say. I mean, paying attention was pretty easy for me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, you know, you, my mom, my mom, I never, she, she's not strict. But she means she mean when she says say what she mean, and so I was I, I grew I was the only child for a long time. I got a little brother now. Shout out Samaj for a long time, and so you know I listen. I listen to what she say and listen to. It. So I would take that to another parent's house, another a friend's house for the weekend. I would take that listen the way I'm very disciplined. And by the time she come and pick me up, that person's parent 
or that brother, that person's brother or sister or something is telling my mom how good I was over there. I forgot he was here. He's so quiet and things like that. And so oh, they're telling, the, telling their kids the whole time I'm over there, you need to be more like, yeah. <laughs> you need to be more. And I hate being that kid. Now you're like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's why I get the list. I mean, that's what. So when the teachers say something, I paid attention. Yeah. It was easy. I always told my friends, you know, they're struggling in school. Like, bro, I'm not, don't be, I'm not no wizard. Like they, it was on these, it was on these exams. You know, she actually taught us that. She actually said it. Uh, she actually told us where to find it in the book. You just ain't do it that day. Yeah. Or so it was, you know, it was nothing. It was just pay attention a lot. But I have a theory about that. I think emotional intelligence is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And emotional intelligence, I think, is the tool or the IQ we have when we're in a room with a bunch of people, how to maneuver through that room with as little conflict as possible. Mm -hmm. It's a, almost a survival skill, Okay. right? So uh, I think good parents, when they raise their kids mm -hmm. well, they teach their kids how to maneuver through a room mm -hmm. with as little problem as possible. Of course. Then you can go out into the world and, and you can same. maneuver through yeah. the world with as little damage as possible. Yeah. What I feel like in the music business, if that's life, if that's a metaphor for life, because it can be sometimes. If I can move through the business with as little problems as possible, mm -hmm. I can get to my goals faster, yeah. especially in the early days when I didn't know anyone, didn't have anything, yeah. uh, and didn't have a, a, a resume to, mm -hmm. to back me up. And I noticed that uh, with my own kids, with school, I always tell them like, look, I don't care about school. I care about you yeah. having the experience you're gonna have. I care about you getting something out of it because mm -hmm. you gotta be there yeah. until you don't anymore. And I don't. I think that when you come to the uh, conclusion that you're going to go off and have a career in music and in art, then you don't really need to go yeah. to school because there's nothing there that's going to further your music or art career. Yeah. And I knew at 15, and so I we left home at 17, and we were off. So school didn't really matter. Col I, I never really had an idea of how I would go to college. I always kind of wanted to go to college because I was. I always felt I respect educated people. Mm -hmm. Something about that yeah, that yeah, has yeah. equated to smart for me. Yeah. Even though I think we both know lots of smart people who never went to college because um, there's course. different kinds of smart. Yeah. But I think emotional intelligence is one. You know, one part your 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 mom probably imparted a lot to you, and then you also I think have to be born. Of course, it smart. has to be in there. Yeah, and then environment as well. Will, will will cause you, I think, to become aware and have gut instincts and be able to maneuver and, yeah. and, and sense things. That was a that made a lot of that was huge for me um in my my emotional um intelligence, my environment. Yeah. And have my mom telling me every day, you're not gonna be this. Right. So you must bring in great grades. So she so you know I couldn't I we had to sit down and talk if I bought a C in there. Right. You know what I mean? Like if a C came through there, what this about? Or what you you don't know this subject or you you know, what's this what's this C about? I need to see the C be a B next time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And next time it need to be an A. And it was only and I always knew it was not because cause you better be a doctor or you better be a lawyer or you right. better be smart. And it was only because you better not end up being what we see around here. Right. You know, and so that was another and that was another driving force to pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm I can't break a C in back home, so and also while I'm while I'm while I'm paying attention, I'm actually paying attention, and so what that means is, it actually does help me, and my it did help me in my career. Yeah, regardless of yeah. the reason at the beginning. Yeah, you start to understand. You know what I always say is, what we think is our weakness yeah. is actually our strength. strength. Yeah. So you grew up in a in in a tough place. Right, mm -hmm. you get to see a lot of of raw Every reality. Day. Everything, yeah. everything, yeah. and where you could say that affected me in this way, that way. Lots of people could could argue that that was a a, a negative circumstance, yeah. which it was in a lot of ways, yeah. statistically. In, its, own, in right? its ways, yes. Yeah, but you could also say that it tuned you up. Yeah, definitely. And gave you capabilities that you wouldn't have otherwise needed. Yeah, that served you uh, very to this well, day. Very well. Yeah. I think that uh, there's something about a strong woman. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I, I married one. I, I was saying my, my, the, the strongest woman I know to, 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 
I've been with her for 17 years. Mm-hmm. That there's a reason why. Yeah. 